Okay, what's shown here is a template that you can use when doing your homework problems or sitting and listening to a, the lecturer discuss, talk about the accounting problems. And you'll know where to lay out your um, accounts and you know what goes under what account. At least it's a good reference to start with. So I've, what I have shown here is the balance sheet, the income statement, and directly listed underneath each of these it shows what's included here like assets would be in this column equals the liabilities in this column plus the stockholders equity I've got two columns broken down here and plus net income and that's listed over here so let's take and zoom in on this here to see which what we're talking about here under assets I got the current assets, the long-term assets, and the contra assets. There's a little T account set up for each of these, so you know where to put in your debits and credits. Now, what's important here is that the debits in this case are shown as a plus under current assets, credits as a minus. And just going down here, long-term assets the same, debits plus, credits minus. Then we go into contra assets, debits minus, credits plus. And the rest of the chart follows around the same way. I'll zoom in on these so you can make a copy of it and for reference. And I got the current liabilities here under liabilities, current liabilities, long-term liabilities, contra liabilities. Moving over to stockholders equity, we've got contributed capital, which would be the common stock, the preferred stock, additional paid in capital and treasury stock. Notice the debits and credits in each case. Going over to the earned capital, and this is all under stockholders equity now, you can see that up here, and you got the retained earnings, you got the dividends, other comprehensive income, and the revaluation reserve. Moving over to net income, we got the net income here which includes revenues, expenses, cost of goods sold, contra revenues, and contra expenses. So if I look at it again here, you can make yourself up a nice little sheet and use it as a reference. Stick it in your textbook, in, in, in wherever you're doing your homework problems or listening to a lecture. It can be, come in really handy because it gives you a good reference of where the debits and credits go for the assets, liabilities, stockholders, equity, net income, and how they reference the balance sheets and the income statements. Along with that template, I've got, we'll scan through these things here because you need a chart of accounts to know what account goes under, what account goes under what, like assets, in this case it would be the current assets, we'll just scan down here. I got them broken down by category, like here's inventory manufacturer, receivables, and so forth. Moving over here to current assets, continued, got the inventories, just scanning down here, you can make a copy of these when you're for your um, reference. Moving up here to long-term assets, got them broken down. You can see the headings here and then the sub assets underneath. Notice that there's a little C here that means at the end of these things that means that's a contra account and wherever I got the contra accounts I got those things listed. So. Looking here, other non-current assets, we'll just scan through here. Just looking here at current liabilities, got those all listed. Now, moving up to long-term liabilities, got them listed. Notice again the little C, that means it's a con designates as a contra account. You're going over to stockholders equity, just scanning down here. And then going over here to the revenue accounts, we got broken down here. Just scanning down. 
All right, there's one clean shot of it. Going back, or going to our next account here under expenses, I've got those listed. Scan down. Go here. Expenses continued. Got some of these. And then moving up here to cost of goods sold, we got cost of goods sold purchased, cost of goods sold manufactured. Moving on down. Okay. So this would be your chart of accounts here. I give you three pages on those, which you have to do. Going back here again, looking at this um, template, as I told you before, you got the balance sheet, you got the income statement, assets, liabilities, stockholders, equity, and net income. And then under each one of these headings, you've got what's included. Now, obviously, these are not all inclusive, but it would certainly help you getting it through your introductory courses on accounting and even into the more advanced courses. It's, it's always a good reference to know what you're dealing with and where your debits and credits should be going and what your account. So you use, use this template here in conjunction with the uh, chart of accounts that I gave you a quick overview there. Get a listing of those and then you'll be in pretty good shape when you start to do your courses.